For the third time this year, Idaho lawmakers have rejected an education budget over social issues. This time, the budget impacts K through 12 teachers. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Bloom. In this special edition of 4 News Now, the state's teacher salaries budget failed to pass last week in a 34 to 34 tie in the state house. Alex Crescenti joins us live in studio with more on the topic and how local educators are feeling. Republican lawmakers in the Idaho legislature argue there are certain topics that are being taught in the public schools that don't align with Idaho values, but teachers say that's simply not happening. As a teacher, I feel that it's very disrespectful to the education profession. Karen Lorton has been a teacher for two decades. She says the actions taken in the Idaho legislature aren't exactly surprising, but some of the language coming out of the state house isn't true. We need to fund our teachers, but we need to protect our teachers from being forced to teach this garbage of social justice, including critical race theory. Lorton says her fellow teachers she works with also don't know what lawmakers are talking about. I hear from people that they hear things on social media like, you know, that they hear that um, we're indoctrinating their children or that um, there's, you know, social justice being taught to kindergartners or that we don't say the pledge anymore and that none of those things are true. Um, the fact is, is that, you know, as teachers, we go in every single day and teach kids. <laughs> That's what we do. This isn't even the first time education funding has been under attack in the Idaho legislature this year. Two weeks ago, the House rejected a more than $630 million budget bill, which would have gone towards funding the higher education schools in the state. That I have talked to parents in my district who tell me that their high school students are getting critical race theory from their government teacher. But Lorton says that this kind of hearsay is what causes people to call the school to find out more. A lot of times I, I hear from the legislators that like, well, you know, I heard it from, you know, my sister-in-law's sister that, you know, in their school there was this happening. And and the fact is it's, it's the same sort of thing that they must be hearing from social media or some sort of news outlet. Lorton went on to tell me she wished more lock-in makers would actually come and see what they, is actually happening in the classroom. This budget failed to pass means it must go back to the legislature's budget committee to be redone and returned to the House for yet another vote. It's not known how long that will take. Reporting in studio tonight, Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now. 